Thank you. Thank you for witnessing my deep, deep existential sense of rage and anger and abandonment that I tell myself often I have to give up. It makes it easier when I'm surrounded by people who I feel loved and supported by. Thank you, Seattle. I hate to refer to you as a city, but I don't know each and every one of your names and you don't have the time. Anyway, today is a special day because it is the death anniversary of Keith Haring, who is a very dear friend of me, of mine. I was with him the day he died. I held his hand, like so many others. And I just want to say thank you, Keith, and so many other artists that we lost too young, too early, before their time, to a disease no one cared to find a cure for. But then I want to say thank you to so many other artists that we lost too young. Jimi Hendrix, one of them, born in Seattle, right? And I was just in Minnesota visiting Prince's house. Every other time I went to his house, he was there and alive. This time, he was not there. And I say all this because, honestly, I feel so lucky and I think to myself often, why me? Why did I get to stay alive? How, how come I got chosen to survive? I have no idea, but I'm so grateful. And I'm so happy to be on this earth doing what I do loving what I do. I get to do what I love. I get paid for it. That's some shit. Thank you. And you know what? Sometimes I don't get paid for it. Because my overhead is big. God damn, how does Brick Bruce Springsteen do it? He just stands there and plays guitar for four hours. No overhead. He's making all that change. Why am I so stupid? Is that a joke? I don't know. Don't give me a microphone, I'll just talk for hours. So, yeah, this is the celebration tour. 40 years in this motherfucking business.
Pretend she's a very romantic What happened?